Well, I came around quickly again, didn't it? It's, uh, this is the end of January shopping haul for meals in February. So, we'll start at the very front then. We've got some broth mix. We've got four bags of bananas. We've got two bags of potatoes. They're a kilogram each. There's some more of the bananas. We've got a bag of, I think it's eight apples. Um, So that'll last the week. We've got cucumber for lunches and snacks. We've got a turnip for to go with a broth mix. And we've got some lettuce to do some wraps. We've got under here, we've got some carrots. We've got a lovely pack of strawberries, which we've only got a couple of days on, but they're as good as gone. A bag of oranges down here. We picked up two packets of Angel Delight mix. Picked up some chili con carne, a beef casserole. And of course, two sausage casseroles. I said the carrots before, so we've got a bag of sugar. We don't want the last one, so I grabbed another one. We've got two tins of corned beef in case we fancy some pies later this month. We've got some chicken and meatballs, uh, chicken meatballs, sorry, um, which come in handy for weekends and quick meals. We've got two tins of burgers as well for the same thing. What do we have down here? We've got a tin of custard down here and another two tins here. We've got eight tins of beans. We've got two tins of hot dogs because we just needed a quick top up. Hey, what have we got here? We've got smooth bolognese pasta sauce. We've got two of those. And you've seen before in my meal prep, in my meal prep that I use a jar of those and then they go for like three meals. Um, so... Nice big jar of coffee again. We are we are definitely a, co a coffee household. And I think it's February that's caffeine. No, it's not. March is caffeine awareness month. We've got some strawberry jam. We've got some roast red peppers. I was on my last jar of them, so I grabbed some more because we're going to be using them this month. We've got four packs of jelly powder to make for pack lunches. We've got four packs of wraps because we've got, if I think it's at the beginning of this video, you should see my meal plan. Um, so we're doing quesadillas, we're doing wraps, and we're doing enchiladas. Enchiladas was the other one. So we've got some, two packs of the Danish style pepperoni. Lovely, lovely. They will go for pizzas. Got some wafer thin cooked ham. I just needed one because I've got another one in the freezer. We're going to be making pizzas. So we've gone for the dairy free, gluten free and soya free grated mozzarella alternative. We're going to see what this is like. We don't have high hopes. We never have had for the dairy free cheeses because a lot of them are awful. Absolutely awful. Then we've got the red Leicester. We've got a loaf of bread under there as well. Lasagna sheets, because we're going to do a proper lasagna this month instead of the normal tortilla lasagna that I do. Then we've got three multi-packs of crisps, because they're hard to find. So I grabbed three while I could. We've got two packs of the 12 uh, Warburton's Rolls for Sloppy Joes and pulled pork and all that goodness. We've got four packs of the tubes, excuse the mess in the background, the tubes wildlife yogurts so we've got two of the strawberry flavor and two of the mixed ones so these have got more strawberry apricot and raspberry in them under there we've got a pack of flora we've got two packs of the eight breaded chicken burgers which are picked up by mistake i was meant to grab nuggets but we're gonna do these ones instead then we've got some frozen sausages and frozen chips. So from the flora, and we have all of these for Easter coming up. So obviously the ones at the bottom are from my oldest, who is dairy free. And then we're going to give these a go with some of the... What are they called? Cornflake cakes. So you get, round Easter, you get cornflake cakes or chocolate nests with 
a mini egg on. That doesn't work for us. So we're going to try these ones because I've never seen the mini ones before that are dairy free. Fantastic. Fantastic. So what else do we have? What else do we have? I think that's it for Asda. We did buy a chicken, but we've used it. And we did have another loaf of bread, but we're into that already. So I'll be back in a second with the butcher's haul. So the next part of the haul is from the butchers and we've got 80 slices of bacon, which was in a three for 20 deal. We've got a super mega large bag of, what are they? We'll come back to them. Mm -hmm. Chicken drumsticks. <laughs> and that big bag in there was £6.99. And that's huge. Yeah, another bit of the 3 for 20 is the pork belly in Chinese rub. That is going to be delicious. And I've gotten them instead of doing another sauce of casserole. So we'll do them instead. We've got a pork leg, which should be lovely, in the slow cooker. We're getting a, a giant, 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 giant. I mean, it's what? Can you see that? It's huge. Um, so again, that was £20 and it should have been 41 Price there, 41 so that is beautiful. Five kilograms of chicken as usual. And then two good, lovely pieces of beef. And they were in the two for 20. So altogether, this was 20, 40, 60, 85. Technically 80 because a friend chucked in five out to grab some pork chops um, off this massive 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 hunk of pork so yeah we'll uh we'll get started on the next video shortly but oh i tell you what i did forget because i left the bag so the final bit from asda then because i forgot about these bags we've got four packages of mints and they're 440 each so a little bit expensive but two for eight pound not terrible not terrible We've got four of the Betty Crocker cake mixes. We got some fairy washing up liquid and some sponges, as you can see in the background. But yeah, so that's this month's haul, and uh, I'll show you what we're going to do with them in the next video.